Okay. Desktop reports. Number one. The Logitech Quick Cam C260 and Ubuntu 10.04 that has been upgraded from a fresh install of Ubuntu 9.10 from the best of Linux DVD um, on an HPE Lite 7100 mini tower. Using the GUVC viewer controls and parameters 1 slash 30 FPS for video resolution 960 by 720 camera output MJPG image format PNG video codec MPEG4 video format MKV audio USB device HW colon 1 comma 0 audio format MP2 okay <laughs> you're gonna get a complaint early that doesn't belong in this part of the video and that is is that when you stop the video it doesn't ask you to save the video and give it a name at that point and it retains the name you previously used when you go to capture again. But when you do that, you lose the video you just took. So I just lost the video I just made. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, that is part of my report, but that should be in the second part. This is a prototype of reports. But hopefully it'll be useful. Okay, so, when you buy your Logitech Quick Cam, you plug it in not quick cam, webcam C260. You plug it in, and I have plugged into the second port on my front of my HPE light. It's got a USB right in front of it, right below it. The letters USB 2.0 right below it, right there, right in front of me. That one. <laughs> um, also, I'm should show get a good look at what my settings are besides just saying them. I'm also when I take this video I'm going to have the image on the right so I can see that I am actually taking the image <laughs> for people to be able to read. Scroll down. This is these are my video settings in the G UVC viewer version 1.41 Ubuntu 1. If you can't see this, this is the video codec MPG4, and this is the video format MKV, and the audio is the input device USB HW colon 1 comma 0. Audio format is MP2. When you buy your Logitech camera, you plug it in. What happened to me is that my um, Linux kernel properly detected the video device and it created uh, it loaded the driver which is the UVC video driver so I will run here LS mod and I will show you that that is loaded UVC video right there the devices that it creates that you can see from the command line is um, so I run the command to discover what they are is ls minus sf for this type of uh, device that has both a microphone and video that must be some weird mirror effect get that over there that over there take your time when you do this just don't run out of your 15 minutes dev tab video is there anything typing okay right there with your right hand hold it up yeah okay. okay good dev video I D's, I can't even spell anymore. I'm just going to show 
Now I should put a star there to show all the video devices that I have, and it's dev video zero. I should do the same thing for my audio. Although this doesn't matter because the audio device really is HW colon one comma zero. And it doesn't tell you that here. I don't know how you get that to show up in the command line. I'm just testing. This shouldn't be in. No, it's not going to tell you there. Okay. Once that driver is installed and detected, then you're ready to use a, a program like GUVC View to capture video and display it on screen as you capture it and create uh, video files you can upload to YouTube. And uh, I found that the, for, that the settings that I have just outlined are the best for my situation. And so I'm going to use it. I'm also going to go into the Ubuntu Software Center and uh, do a search for um, under installed software. And I'm going to type in the word codec because that is related to video cameras. And I'm just going to show if at all possible, what I have in here, whatever comes up. I'm going to scroll down slowly so people could write this down at least and see what I have in here that may be different than what they have that may alter the results they have between mine. My first video I read all these I decided that's a bad idea. Also, I am going to type in the word camera. I'm also going to scroll down. Hopefully this is a clear take. scroll back up if I think I went too fast. <laughs> I think I might have. And then I'm going to type in the word media. I'm going to let you see all the apps that I have here. And I'm not going to bias any of the output. I'm going to show you. Hopefully slowly enough that you can observe and write these things down. I'm also going to think about any different repositories that I have here that may <clears throat> be more geared towards um, audio and that happens to be MIDI Ubuntu. So I'm going to show you all my MIDI Ubuntu installs. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run uname minus r to display the version of the kernel that I have installed here. I will also say that I believe I do have mplayer installed and that there is somewhere else I know I have Mencoder installed, and I, there probably is somewhere else a differently described M player, and I don't know why or what. I should say the date. It's September 13th, 2010. Um, the only flaw I have in this system that I could think of right now is that I don't have the exact version in here.
probably the way to do it. So don't bother scrolling, just do this. It'll probably take a while, hopefully it won't go over the 15 minutes you have. And stick with the ones that look like they're relevant. Try not to screw up and press the remove button either. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. did it. And last but not least is uname minus r. That should be it. I'll stop and I'll upload this and hopefully this will be helpful.